If it hadn't been for love by Chris Stapleton and played with the steel drivers, is it going to be played in standard tuning? Uh, and it's going to begin on an A minor chord. And the intro is basically just an A minor, but your picking pattern will be executing something called a two beat bass feel, or where you will be alternating and accentuating an A note, and then an E note, and then an A note, and then an E note, so that you get like, but it's happening inside of the strumming pattern in the chord. So the first chord, this A minor, you're going to want to have an open six string, an open five string, though you'll be plucking them independent of one another. Then you want your second finger on the four string two fret, your ring finger on the three string two fret, your first finger on the two string one fret, and you'll want an open one string. So once you get in that pattern, uh, the intro is going to be palm muted. You want to take the palm of your hand, of your picking hand, and lay it just kind of right across the saddle of the guitar so that you're muting those strings a little bit so that whenever you hit it, they kind of pop and then die as opposed to sustain. And this gives you a nice tight feel that you can move between the open A string and the open six string in your picking pattern. So I'm going like down, down, up, 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 pop, 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 down, down, up, down, down, up. And it's going to be a down on the A string and then down up kind of across your fretted chord, the A minor. And then your next down, like the standalone down, will be on the six string. And then the next down will be on the standalone A string. So it's like A, down, up, E. Down, up, A, down, up, E, down, up. And also, you can feel a very, or you can hear this very percussive feel that is happening in the chord. So that, you know, whenever I pluck that A chord, like whenever I'm coming down, I'm lifting my palm off of the bridge. And I'm kind of slapping my palm and picking the strings at the same time to get that percussive feel. You can also hear in this intro an A minor chord that open one string and the fretted two string after moving to the E. So it's like an A down up and then the E. Uh, so down on the E and then kind of like just a quick up across the open one string and the fretted two string of your A minor chord. So that might be something to just practice in and of itself, how to get that percussive feel. So basically notice that, that feel I'm getting is just mute all of your strings. You can see me laying my pinky finger across the third fret and just slap those strings. That's the feel that you're going for. But mechanically, you'll have to work to be able to move from a resonant A minor to kind of lightening your grip on those strings, to mute the strings, to get some of that uh, percussive feel. But big picture, you're moving between the A and the E, A, E, A. There's also a little walk up that happens here every now and then. After a few rounds of A, E, within this A minor chord, 
you can hear an open six string, six string three fret, which you would grab with your pinky, and then back into the A minor. Very slowly, that would sound like this. And whenever you hit that G with your pinky finger, the six string three fret, pull that string a little bit so that you can kind of pull your way up into that open five string. So the lyrics begin over that as well. And it's just alternating between the E and the, or between the A, the A string and the E string in the beginning of the verse. It goes for a couple of rounds there, repeats just holding the A minor, and then it goes to an F chord. So the way that Chris Stapleton is playing this F chord is just as a full blown F bar chord where you take your first finger and you bar it across the first fret of the guitar, ring finger goes to the five string three fret. Pinky finger goes to the four string three fret, second finger goes to the three string two fret, and then your first finger bar is grabbing the first frets of strings one and two. And your picking pattern here is the same, except for you, you won't be alternating between five and six, you'll just be hitting the six uh, one fret on the down each time. So like down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, with that same percussive feel where Kind of on the up of each other strum. So if we're going down, down, up, down, down, up, that up, you want to loosen the tension on your left hand so that you get that percussive beat. So anyway, it goes to an F chord and then back to the A minor chord. And then it goes back to the F chord again. And then I think it goes back to the A minor chord again. And then the last time it goes to the F chord, it's where he's repeating the refrain, if it hadn't been F, to an E major, if it hadn't been for love. Uh, so this is, so far we've talked about an A minor, we've talked about an F, and now the last chord of the verse, basically, or the last new chord of the verse is this E major. So you need an open six string, second finger on the five string two fret, ring finger on the Four string, two fret, first string on the three string, one fret, open two, open one strings. If it hadn't been for love, and then on love, you go back to the A minor. And this is just kind of, uh, this is just bringing a period to the verse before we walk up into the chorus. So leading into the chorus, you hear a little walk that goes. So if it hadn't been, if it hadn't been for love. So that walk will be like two downs on an A minor, and then move with your second finger to the uh, five string two fret. You can lift your ring finger, and I'm just striking the five string two fret and the open four string behind it, and then you move into a C chord. Now I'm playing a four fingered C chord where I've got my ring finger on the six string three fret, my pinky finger on the five string three fret, my second finger on the four string two fret and open three string and my first finger on the two string one fret with an open one string. So the chord or the chorus will be alternating kind of same picking pattern down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. But here in the first chord of the chorus, we're alternating between the five string that is fretted on the three fret and the six string fretted on the three fret so that we're still mimicking that two beat bass feel from the intro of but now we're doing it over a C chord. So uh, five string down up, six string down up. So it does that five string, six string, and then immediately moves to a G chord. The way that the G chord happens is second finger to the six string three fret. Uh, that second finger really can just block out the five string. Or if you want to do a traditional G chord, put your first finger down on the five string two fret. You'll have an open four and open three. Pull your ring finger back to the two string three fret. And just let your uh, pick stop before hitting the one string or let your ring finger kind of lightly touch the one string so that it mutes it out. And there's your G chord. So we've got the, to the G chord. 
back up to an A minor, and it walks up to the C chord again. So we've got chorus first round C, to the G chord, to the A minor, walk to the five string two fret, then back up into the C chord. And then it repeats C, to the G, and in the G you can alternate between the sixth string, three fret, and the open four string if you want to. So, implicate that two beat bass feel. The second time through the course, after the G, instead of going back to the A minor, it goes to a D minor. This is an open four string. Your, uh, um, yeah, an open four string, your second finger to the three string two fret, your ring finger to the two string three fret, and your first finger on the one string one fret. Strum from the open four string down. And then after that D minor chord, it comes back to the A minor. So the chorus begins with a walk up, A minor to the, this like D transition to a C, to a G, to an A minor, walk up to the C, repeat the C, down to the G major, go up to the D minor, and then go to the A minor, repeat, C, to the G, to the A minor, walk up to the C major, repeat C major, down to the G major, to the D minor, to the A minor, and here's where it just gets back into that verse feel. So those are the chords and the movements to If It Hadn't Been For Love by Chris Stapleton and as played with the Stool Drivers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.